went on a road trip recently. You went on a road to Quad Cities, right? Yeah, dude. The Quad Cities, Moline, and did I tell this story already? Um, no, because this happened after Christmas, and did we I? didn't do like an episode after Christmas, did we? I don't think so. Did we? I don't think so. The last one was on the was it the fourteenth or something? Something like that. Ross was here, so um, we'd like to forget about. That. Yeah, let's let's not bring that up again. Um, just kidding, Ross. We love you. Thank you for listening. <laughs> All right, Phil. I'm totally going on the show. Totally defending myself again. Oh. <laughs> All right, you get me angry. <coughs> mm. Excuse me. So I go. I love getting out of Cook County. Yep. For our international listeners out there, Chicago, Illinois is located in Cook County. And it just, everything is so expensive. And I left Cook County to go on a road trip. Excuse me once more. (coughs) Just choking on some cotton candy here. It's cool. Um, So we go to Moline which is on the Illinois-Iowa border. And I felt like a fucking millionaire. So we were at this brewery. And here's what I got. I got a t-shirt. I got a shot of peppermint schnapps. I got a cocktail. And I got a beer. Guess how much it was, John? Um, $14. Close. Phil. Ten dollars. It was twenty five dollars. Oh okay. You guys think it would be ten dollars for a shot, a cocktail, I, a beer and that. I was <laughs> expecting it was gonna be something really like surprisingly cheap. <laughs> Dude, I think twenty five dollars is surprisingly cheap. Like that's how much you pay for like a T shirt around here. But I'm trying to minus the Cook County tax. And then right. and then <laughs> maybe they get like all their shit in bulk or make it. Yeah. So So no, dude, and like I left a ten dollar tip and they're like, Are you sure? Are you are you sure? And it's like, yeah. Like if I were at any other bar in Chicago, my tab would have been like You'd probably leave 50. like twenty yeah. to cover the tax. Exactly right. So like I was just walking around feeling like Mr. Rockefeller. We went bowling and I had two vodka Red Bulls. And they were four dollars each, and I left him a five dollar tip on an mm-hmm. eight dollar bill. Yeah. And he's like, Sir, sir, are you sure, sir? I'm like, Yeah, dude. Because, like, this is how much my drinks would have cost in Chicago before the tip. Like, $14, like, you know, $7 each. Yeah. I don't know. So I recommend you guys get the fuck out of Cook County. You'll feel like a millionaire. That's what everyone's telling me. Fuck uh, Chicago. Get out of here as soon as possible. And yet here we are. Yep. Got the struggle. I, uh... One thing I'd like to mention before I forget. Sure. We were talking about uh, tar- tards, no, cards <laughs> against humanity. Sure. Well, maybe. I mean, it was a, an a episode with Ross, yeah. Whoa. But, so, we, yeah. Don't car- use that wood, Phil. All right. Tarded medically. Is no. that probably? No, I meant humanity. Don't use okay. the word humanity. Well, we, well, we were uh, talking about how it was, well, at least in my opinion, it was very kind of leftist biased and it just had a bunch of bullshit in there that was sort of i don't know i feel like it was trying to fuel the attention that the media's taking everything in direction now with the numerous non-stop trump jokes and it's just like dude i feel the same oh you mean like the new version of it yeah yeah it's just um uh, just non-stop people just bitching about politics and i mean I don't really pay attention to it. I try not to get into it, but it's, you know, I feel the same way despite however the political climate is. So what happened is it got, they were selling it at Target. We we were talking about it last episode. Right, like, because Kelly gets the updated cards, right? And mm-hmm. it's all, like, very politically, like, relevant. You got cotton candy hanging from the left side of your mustache. Just, okay. Which is amazing because I was trying to make a, santa claus beard by attaching the cotton candy to my beard i don't know how you did that but we'll talk about it later Uh, yeah perfect but that'll be in the uh, bonus features but so so they they banned them from uh target because there's just a bunch of people getting pissed off which i i could see because i feel like the people 
who are bitching about politics would sort of get offended by some of the jokes in Cards Against Humanity in sure. general. So the people who like dark humor are playing it. So you're sort of like feeding into this whole, I'm offended by everything. Everybody's racist. Everybody's feminist. Every man is a rapist. Everything, you know, make bathrooms for everybody, even if you identify as a frying pan. So, uh, and um, they uh, they released this thing and, and it got banned. So I guess we got a rare card collection. Nice. Yeah. Was it pretty racy? Was it? Re- was it I, pretty I, edgy? I didn't. I didn't think it was too edgy, but I, I mean, they had stuff like, "When is the next? Uh, is there ever going to be?" Uh, the I, I don't even. I always forget how you play it, but one of the cards said something like, um, "There's go whenever there's going to be a gay Republican president or something." I don't know. And I don't see how that's offensive. Sure, sure, if he's doing a good job. You could you could just sort of tell there's certain shit, like I said, about <laughs> like get out and everything. There's just certain things that are said, made to piss people off. You know what I mean? Sure. I I, I actually I wanted to mention that 